our brewery tasting room, everything. Um, directly behind me, uh, we have our actual brewing system. So there's our brew kettle, our mash tun, and our hot liquor tank. Um, on the opposite side of the room, we have all of our fermenters. Um, we put in cement flooring, we put in all the electrical work, the lighting, um, um, all this back wall. This was completely open before to the, to the rest of the bike shop. Um, we are expanding though, we're taking over the rest of the, uh, uh, the basement. Um, so previously this was the bike repair shop. Um, back along this wall they had um, countertops and they would wrench bikes in here. Obviously it's already changed a lot. We're going to have our uh, entire brew house over in this section. Down along this back wall on the right side we're going to have our fermenters. So we're going to get uh, three unit tanks and uh, two serving tanks. Um, and then in back here, and we just put this in, uh, is our walk-in cooler. So it's a significantly larger than our current one. And we'll be able to keep the beer nice and cold before we get it out to all the customers. Um, so for, for beers that we make year round, we have um, the Israel Putnam. It's our brown ale. Um, it's a very traditional, um, almost um, colonial American uh, brown ale. Um, something that maybe Israel Putnam himself may have brewed. Uh, we make it with barley and wheat, um, so we have the multi-grain base, which was traditional for the time, and it's um, hopped with cluster, which is uh, the indigenous hop to the Americas. So it's very, very traditional, but still very full-bodied and flavorful, and it's good for any time of year, too. It's 5.3%, so it's uh, nice, easy drinking, sessionable brown ale. Another one of our mainstay beers is the Connecticut Uncommon, which is a California common-style beer. It's a uh, pretty full-bodied uh, lager, so you get a uh, bready, biscuity, malt profile from it, as well as this nice, kind of spicy characteristic from the northern beer hops, but it's so nice and easy drink of uh, the lager. And then we have uh, Machu Picchu, which is our jalapeno saison. Uh, we make that with barley, wheat, and corn, um, and um, it's pretty generously hopped, and obviously um, infused with um, fresh picked, uh, well not fresh picked, but fresh jalapenos. Yeah, and then the, the last one that we have is uh, Razor Blades. It's our American style IPA. Um, very generously hoppy. It's nine different varieties of hops in it. It's got a real nice pop kick to it. We're definitely very seasonal brewers. So now that it's winter, we have um, we're kind of focusing more on dark beers like stouts and porters, and we have our Doppelbach, which is our winter seasonal with ca uh, cardamom spice. So always, always doing new things. Um, always a reason to come back every weekend. It's a lot of work and it's a lot of time too. Brew, brew day, is, as you've seen, is a um, you know pretty long, laborious process. And when you're putting that amount of time and effort into something, um, you know you gotta love it. I think you know, most people would, um, you know, if you didn't like this, this would be a nightmare. I think for some people, so, as I mentioned before, Corey and I get bored with brewing the same kinds of beer all the time. It's the same thing with the recipes. If we get to add something different or change something a little bit out of the norm, that's you know kind of keeps it fresh and keeps it new. That's that's one of the things that I enjoy. Um, what I find most enjoyable about it and what drives the passion for it is just being able to be creative and not have you know we're not working for another brewery. We're working for ourselves. So. Whenever we want to make something new, it doesn't matter how wacky it is, you know, there's nothing stopping us. And that's, that's really exciting about, about what we're doing. And, and then doing something wacky or doing something unconventional and serving it to people and, and seeing, their, seeing the face with they, when they like it, you know. So I'd, I'd say that that's definitely the most enjoyable part is, is being able to create and being able to share that creation. We, we sat near each other and I was like, well, I remember it because you looked like Harry Potter. So I thought I had Harry <laughs> Potter as a, as a classmate and it was a very exciting.